and we're on. Let's see if I can find it on YouTube. How bad is the lag? Oh my goodness. Uh, mine hasn't started yet, so. Uh, mine <laughs> it's a long lag. Oh, I'm no. still waiting. Goodness gracious. Still waiting. Nothing yet. That's so weird. Mine have Hello. When something <laughs> I don't see anyone's comments. Yeah, mine's not up yet. Wow, that's a really long lag. Oh, there's Claire. Oh, it just came up. Wow, that was mine really did too. That was that, that was, was a really long, long time. Hello. Hey. <laughs> hey Deb. Hey we're, Michelle. We're <laughs> hi. Hi Claire. Hi Karen. Hi, Claire. Hi Karen. <laughs> Hello, hello. Welcome to another Craft Squad on Tour. Welcome. I, I can hear my, somebody not muted. Oh, All right. me. No, I don't have my YouTube up, so. I'm going to give you all a hi, Joanne. Hi, Joanne. Is it you, maybe, Deb? Sounds like it's coming from you. No. My notification just came up. Weird lag. Okay. Uh, so tonight's prompt is sticks and stones, and I'm going to show you two printouts and two images that um, from Pinterest, and these are the images that I sent to everyone. This is here's your inspiration. So this will give you all an idea what what sticks and stones mean. So basically, these are wrapped rocks. You see how they make kind of cool patterns, mm -hmm. wrapping, and this is a little blurry, but this is a mixed media piece. And each one of these strips is a piece of wood or stick or stone. Some of them are wrapped, some aren't. Um, just a bunch of different cool things going on there. So those are those are the inspiration to get us started on tonight's Craft Squad on Tour. So let me bring everybody in. We've got Michelle or two L's. Um, we've got Amanda, or I like to call her three A's, mm -hmm. and we've got Laurel, who is also a three, three L's, um, and me. And I think the only one we're missing tonight, I don't think, I know, the only one we're missing tonight is Michelle Scott, one L. And um, yeah, so I guess we'll just we'll dive right in and get going. Does anybody want to, does anybody have a good idea yet of what they're going to do? It looks like you do, Deb. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've I have an idea. I don't know how to turn out, but I've got an idea. I have an idea, and it's kind of combining the whole sticks and the wrapping stones parts, sort of. Um, this is just a this is a printout um, of a digital. I think it's from one of Tracy's pieces. I just can't remember what. And I've just got it back with some cardstock. And I'm going to, I've got a stick here. Oops, I've got a stick and I've got string added onto it. And I'm going to macrame a little line and oh, put it on the, this base piece and create a, and put it in a journal that I'm working on and um, have it be either a pocket or a belly band. Nice. Cool. So I'm going to go ahead and dive in. Anybody else? Yeah, I was I was trying to make a butterfly. I know this I, this has to be cut off, but I was trying to make a butterfly out of the sticks originally. And this is where is it? This would be a wing, and then this one with another piece would be a wing, and then the two smaller wings. But I'm struggling with it, so we're just gonna put that to the side for now. <laughs> we're we're gonna play my sticks onto this piece of wood. <laughs> Hi, Danielle. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing. I was going to make, I had this idea. Um, I saw two things on Pinterest that were the frame and then one was a bird. So they were separate things. And I was thinking about putting them together, but doing like a collage thing behind them. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I don't know how it's going to work out or if it's going to work out. So uh, I didn't get really straight sticks. So yeah gonna be a challenge that's i don't think sure. straight sticks exist because i looked uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> not, none of mine are straight either yeah 
most of mine are either too round, like width-wise, or they're crooked as all get out. Well, I'm going with um, like one of the photos that Debbie showed, not the wrapped stones, but the other one. And what I've started off with is a uh, five by seven um, canvas board here. And in the back, in the background, I just did uh, use the um, Tim Holtz stencil and just put some some paste down and gessoed it. And I'm just going to add sticks and stones and textures. Oops. I might just and end up making a field. Moss. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I was looking for my moss everywhere. I could not find it. Couldn't find it. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to play, I reckon. Yeah, I think mine's just going to end up being some kind of frame with maybe some kind of, like, field. Flowery pulled, field, I maybe some butterflies. I don't know. I pulled out bark and... Um, some cork board, and I do have my moss in green and purple. <laughs> so, oh, yes. <laughs> purple might end up in here somewhere. Somewhere. It's got to. It's got to. It's just not, just not right without it. No, it's not. Once I get it started. I said I was going to leave this butterfly alone, and where am I back at the butterfly? <laughs> Maybe that's where you end up right. the whole time. I'll try to straighten out the stick without breaking it. Tape isn't sticky. Okay. All right. Anybody else crafting along with us? Did anybody else get their sticks and stones? I think Danielle's going to give it a shot. Nice. I think I'm going to start collaging on the back. Sounds like a good idea. It's a good place to start. Yep. Come on, for 10 years. Pretend I'm what? 10 years. Oh, I'm so sick. Sorry, Olivia wants to talk to me while we're doing this. She wants me to pretend like I'm sick. Okay. Are you going to make me some fun things for sick people? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Pretend hamburgers. Oh, wow. Make everyone unsick. Ooh. Oh, I need some of those. Yeah, hamburgers make everyone unsick. Boy, isn't that the truth? Hamburgers and pizza. Oh, yeah. hey, let's not talk real food. <laughs> food no ma'am no way speaking yeah. of how are you doing with your diet stuff laurel i am down 55 pounds Dang. Oh, that's, that's awesome awesome thank you i'm very proud of myself it's been a long journey well it seems like it really hasn't but yeah that's awesome it's hard it's very hard Okay, their flight is running late. Thank you, Joanne. I don't look the same. Everybody at work tells me my face is too skinny. and. Oh, yeah. That happens when you know. when people lose weight. They start looking a little different. Mm -hmm. I'm, sure everybody, I'm sure everybody that knows you that... Is this a goal weight that you've, you were at before that you wanted to get down to? Or? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm sure everybody that's seen you at that weight before doesn't think that. Yeah, and nobody at work did, so. Yeah, so they're like, wow, but whatever. As long as, you feel, as long as you feel good, that's all right. right. Yeah. One girl at work, like, uh, your face is getting too skinny. I think you should stop. I said, no, this is how <laughs> I look. <laughs> this is normal. Welcome to me. Let's 
right. Jo so. Joanne Jackson said awesome, Laurel. I know, I said thank you. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I was probably eating my get well hamburger. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me think of seventh grade dad doing macrame. I know, right? I and remember when my mom used to make us help her do it when she made these owls and all this stuff at Christmas time. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. It was not that much fun back then as a little kid to sit and brush out this yard. <laughs> But I love doing it now. I just made a new bracelet, if you would call it macrame. I know it's that, that um, whatchamacallit, but I just made that. Oh, cool. Oh, that's neat. Oh, that's pretty, Laurel. Thank you. I needed oh. another one to match my other one, so I needed to make another one. It's I just started little... doing macrame. Yeah. I have a big, huge, I'm making a shelf. Like a that, wall. Yeah, I remember you started that, right? How's yeah, that going? I, I did start it. It's still going. I mean, I almost finished it within like a couple of days, but then I had to move it because I was moving furniture around and I yeah. totally forgot about it. And so, oh, yep, it's still in the same exact place it was before. Oh, I gotta get the paper towel ready. I haven't done this in so long. I'm not even really sure what I'm doing. You are. You're making the, as I call it, the little boat. That's the boat stitch. At least that's how my mom taught it to me. Because it looks like when you're doing the, it looks like a sail. Like you bring it, oh, wrap that one down to an L and over. And then the other one goes underneath. Then you go the opposite way. If you want it to spin and twist, you do it all in the same direction. This is, uh, yeah, I think this is the square knot, and then there's a twisting square knot, right, where you all go and all the things do it. Right. Hey, Tina T. Hi, Tina. Hello, Tina. Hi. Have you gotten to practice any of your crochet or anything, Amanda? No, I haven't done anything. This is the first time I crafted in a very long time. Besides that baby book thingy that I'm making with Tracy's kit, baby, yeah. baby kit. Yeah, that's the only thing I'm working on. But it's still just hanging out for days and days at a time. Trying to plan on what I'm going to do for homeschool and search the curriculum and right yeah it's a i'm lot. very excited for you only because um can't cam's side of the family mm -hmm. aside from her you know biological sperm bank um mm -hmm. uh kathy has five children and she homeschooled every single one of them and they yeah. all went to real school when they went to college and they've all graduated and one's a a, a math professor or something he said they all have really good jobs and make really good money and are right. all amazing you know people and they all have kids now they all like they crank out the kids really quick <laughs> <laughs> that's funny they, I, I know catholics like that like i'm i don't follow the catholic stuff i follow the christian stuff but I know they're all about big families and stuff too. Right. Oh my word! Yeah, we our um, our church in California, we had <laughs> the parking lot. It was just like SUVs, vans all over the place because everybody. We, it was in Central Valley, California. Yeah, everybody had huge families, like four and five and seven kids like it was just like yeah they do they have and um like even nicola she's the youngest one she's already on her third um but yeah they have them all pretty close together yeah one of the ladies that i follow on um for like books and devotionals and stuff like that yeah um she has she just graduated her her um, oldest daughter yeah from homeschool and she found out she was pregnant <laughs> oh, 
Oh no. You're crazy. <laughs> That's too much. Oh, now it's starting over. <laughs> That's too much for me. I oh, know that was funny though. <laughs> Bless her heart. <laughs> right? My my mom's mom had 11 children. She had two miscarriages, but she yeah. has nine living children, but she had 11 children, and we're talking back in the day. That's right. a lot wow. of kids. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. a lot of living children. Right? Usually nine. Nine. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't imagine raising nine children. I can't either. Was that your grandmother, Laurel? Yeah, my grandma. My grandmother was the only female of um, 11 children. Wow. Whoa. And 10 brothers. Yes. Wow. Yowza, dowza. I think it was uh, five girls and four boys. My wow. dad came from a really big family. There was 11 of them. There was, tw uh, yeah, there was 11. One died as an infant, but yeah. Sorry, big. I just had to wipe that up. Big families. My you know, family. these days it's too just too expensive. It is too expensive. It is very expensive. I don't know how you would raise that many kids. Well, they did. Well, you definitely have to live off the land. Yes, you do. Do your own stuff. That's for sure. I don't know. This Cam's aunt, they're always traveling. They're all like not cheap places all the time. I don't understand what they want. Yeah. But, I mean, I know God provides, but holy cow, they do a yeah. lot of traveling. That's awesome. I still don't have any idea what I'm doing. Anybody? Anybody else? I'm, know try, I'm doing? trying sticks. Look at my desk. I haven't done anything yet, Amanda. I've been wrapping twine on half my butterflies. Yeah, I'm just. Okay, down. Somebody's wants some attention. Oh, uh, that's my. I haven't turned off the notifications and text messages on the computer yet. That's my. A train at, oh, uh, so I'm supposed to pick my son and daughter-in-law up at the airport tonight. Ah. Oh, are you going to be through Grand Dog City? Yes. Yay. <laughs> but we just said our plane having engine problems, so we don't know what's going to happen. If it's too late or we don't take off, then we'll just get an Uber or something and pick up Charlie tomorrow. Ah. Uh, oh. So, oh, with the plane, it's having engine problems? Yeah, Still in, they're still in California. Oh, wow. They haven't well, taken off I, yet. I hope they're going to take another plane. I know, right? No, yeah, it's so damn scary. I, I hate that. Driving I know it. Get off of that one and get on another one. Uh, yes, can we change planes, please? Right. <laughs> uh, like refunds. <laughs> So I may not be going to the airport tonight. Man, I sprayed that ink and it like went everywhere. I probably shouldn't have used the fine mister. Oops. Remember when you spilled that black ink? The clipping? Yep, oh. there's the bottle right there I've got left. <laughs> I would have been, I know you had white carpet, but man, I'd been doing anything to suck that ink back up. <laughs> I was so afraid that was going to hit the carpet. Hey, Mom, what hey, I got? Ooh, look at that carrot you made. Good job. You made a carrot with Play-Doh. Sorry. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right. Right, none of this wood is straight. That's for sure. Eventually, I will put some sticks in here. Let's see, what am I gonna do? I wish I had a bird. I don't have a bird. I need a bird mold. Oh, a bird mold? 
Do you have bird molds crafting source, my crafting source? Bird mold uh, or a bird uh, dye? No, a mold, like a like a resin like mold? a cinnabar, mm -hmm. like prima mold, yeah, resin mold. Like I do how not, big? but that doesn't mean I can't get one. I have a big bird. I don't think I have birds. I think I need one. Um they may they have one that's cute. It's they like birds can. on a on a branch. Brand. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking of. I know that um I've seen Finnebear use it once or twice before. And I always want to get it, but then I forget and I don't forget it, yeah. And then I'm like, and then I need it, and I'm like, oh, oh that's about to get that. <laughs> I will take a look, Amanda. No, I never fail. Always manages. It's like he knows when we're live. Who is it, Dustin? Yeah, Dustin. Yeah. That's funny. I'm sure he's getting excited for me to come. I'm getting oh, excited. That's right. You're going to Florida. Yep. Friday. Last day of work. Woohoo! I, I need a summer vacation. Nice, 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 nice. It's awesome. Where in Florida are you going, Laurel? Uh, Newport Ritchie. Oh, I've heard of that. Never been. Mm -hmm. All I know is she has a pool, and that's where I'll be. <laughs> there you go. If you need me, right there, fussy cutting. Are you taking <laughs> your fussy cutting stuff? I'm taking my uh, tatting. Oh, nice. Tatting by the pool. Because I don't think fussy cutting and, and paper water. by the water. Paper by the water. Yeah. yeah. You're probably right. But I will be outside as much as I can. All right. I think I'm going to glue this down. And then try to maybe do some twine with the frame. And then I'm going to create some kind of, like, floral scene inside, I think. See, I'm not the only one who lays everything out and then has to go back and lift it all up in glue. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. And it never ends up back in the same spot. It just doesn't. I know it. Never does. That's true. No, and even when you take a picture, has anybody ever noticed yeah. that? Yeah, I did that. I took the picture. It's still, I still ended up changing it. Well, I might not get anything glued because I'm not sure what I've done with my glue. You know what I want to accomplish? Now, I wonder if that maybe you should get some no. paint on that. I'm over. All right, let me go look for my glue real quick. I think it's over here. Here, I'm gonna have to do this. I gotta, I gotta have a little thing here. It's not doing what I want. I might have to grab them down or something. Okay. And, and this, uh. Gel medium is not going to hold it down right away either. I need like an instant. To, uh, I might have to pull out my glue gun. Where is oh, it? yeah, that's a good yeah. idea. Oh, my God, I haven't used a glue gun in years. I, now I got to think where I hid my glue gun. <laughs> I just put it somewhere because I'm like, I'm not going to use it. Where did I put it? That's what I need. And put it away for safekeeping. Yep. <laughs> In your special place where you can't find? Uh-huh. That's what, what it's going to be. It's going to be in that spot where I don't know where. I'm debating whether to stamp this fabric with something. I think it needs something. But I don't know what. <coughs> I'm on the glue gun for it. Oh, 
Well, hello, Lorna. How are you? Hi, Lorna. Hey, Lorna. Are you warming up yet, Lorna? Hello, hello. Oops. We're making stuff out of sticks and stones, Lorna. I found it. Is the TV too loud in the background, guys? Nope. Can you hear it? Barely. Barely. Okay. Yeah, we've had we're having thunderstorms here too, Lorna. Have been for the last five or so days. I just gotta wait for my glue gun. And we can start gluing. Mm. Do I use black or do I use brown? Oh my goodness, decisions. Decisions, decisions. Flip a Close your eyes and go any, meeny, miny, mo. You know. I want to go brown because of the sticks, but then there is kind of black in the background. I just don't. Well, you don't want the sticks to be hidden away either. Right. So then I should go with black. Great. Idea. Don't ask. Kim's looking at my stuff like, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh, I'm playing with tree branches. Sticks and stones. Sticks and stones. All right. This one's going to be tricky. No. I'm just going to Oh, no. What'd you do? I moved the little paper towel and it had my, it had my little, um, brads on it. Oh, Jesus. Uh, yeah, I found them though. Look, mommy. What is it, baby? There you go. Oh, cute. Okay. My blue guy's like, you want me to work? I haven't been turned on in forever. It's okay. Just okay. I can make another one. Make, make, make. There we go. Uh, for anybody who came in later, Sticks and Stones is the prompt. And these are the two, two of, I don't know, maybe five or so different um, inspiration images that, that we were starting from. So these are wrapped stones. And this is a mixed media piece with a bunch of sticks. It's kind of hard to see, I know, but each one of those is a stick and they're all kind of wrapped and something, something a little different going on with them. So, I love that wrapped stone. Yeah, I'd like yeah. to know what they Not the use. ones that you have printed out, but the other one that you showed us. That was so cool. Hmm. They, uh, I think those stones are wrapped with um, bamboo. The ones in that photo that you have? Yeah. What was the other one I sent? I don't remember. It was the white one with the um, yeah. little window made of those yeah. rest of those wood sticks. or those um, metal nails. Mommy. Yeah, Bubba. Mommy. Yeah, Bubba. Mommy. Yes, buddy. Of course. What? Yes. Okay. Oh, 
have no idea if these words are even upside down or what. I don't know. Oh, well. I may not even see those leaves behind all this. How long has it been thunderstorming there, Lorna? It is very quiet. What do you think? No, are we all too quiet? Yeah, it's very quiet. Concentration. Total concentration here. I may not even do stones because I kind of like the way the leaves look in the background. I'm not using any actual stones. I'm not using stones. I'm just using stuff. I'm using, I'm wrapping some stuff like the wrap of stones, but I'm not actually using stones. Well, hey, big mama cuz. How you doing? Hey, big mama. Hi, big mama. I feel so odd calling her that. I know, <laughs> but she insists. I know her name. It's like, what? I call her Cuz. What in the world did I just do? I was putting away the outdoor cushion before the rain. Sorry. Oh, come on now. Stay there. This one's got to come down. Have you had a lot of thunderstorms there, Lorna? We've been having a bunch here lately. So well, I've actually got stone in it already. The background. Big Mama, is cra Big Mama is crafting away. And Lorna says it's getting very dark there. Mm. All right. I'm going to turn this. I need to get my hand on it. Let's get this bark. That will come after. Wow, everybody is super concentrated. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is all right. Let's try one more. Get a little bit oh. more. Okay. I had this all laid out and it was completely covering the whole thing and now it's not. I don't know where all my pieces went. <laughs> so maybe these will go a lot further. So this one's got to go up and under, down, and then over that, and under this one. Without pulling that one off. <laughs> it's we should probably do more more um, mindless activities on right? 
so we don't have to think so hard. <laughs> Your macrame looks pretty, Deb. Yes, it does. I've not even looked up. Look at that. Oh, wow. Nice. It's not like, it's not good work. It's sort of flippy and uneven, but I actually kind of like that. It's, I like the way you said that. It's not good work. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. It's crafting. It's great work. You're not making a blanket or anything like that. No, I'm not. that one somewhere. Oh, shot that one. I'm shooting little pieces of wood everywhere. Okay. I don't want to do it like that. I should get out my glue gun too. That's what I was just thinking for this string. It is, because nothing wants, you need like to hold it instantaneously. Not that my glue gun's really working out well either, because my glue stick's like 800 years old. <laughs> like, yeah, no, we don't want, we don't want to work. I'm trying to think which glue stick I need. Sissy, pretend you're going all the way up to my bed. A different one. Let's try this one and see what happens. Get in there. All right. Let's try that one. All right. Now we need another thin piece. Big Mama said try duct tape. <laughs> right? You know, when I was picturing this in my mind, it seemed way easier than actually sitting here trying to do it. This mm -hmm. stuff is hard to, yeah. Challenge, it's more of a challenge than it appears. Than you would think, I guess is a better way to say that. Okay. Is that better? Where's that not laying flat? Goodness, my nose one is flat. One is laying flat and one is not. Why? Why? I need a hammer. <laughs> hammer and duct tape. <laughs> Just, um, there's like a, the. There, that might work. Yeah. That's the, um, the eyelet was, it was squishy funny. Squishy Never mind. Funny. Not working. The eyelet was not working. Not was... working, y'all. <laughs> Technical difficulties. I like the squishing. Man, I really want some birds. I need some birds. That's the comment. Hi, Lisa from over the pond. I'm in Kansas. 
Hi, Lisa. From the UK. I'm guessing that's from the UK. Can't really see the flag. It's teeny tiny. Come on, help me out here. Yeah, Lisa has the UK flag. Because that fun guy can't. I think I'm making a mess. I know I'm making a mess. So welcome to my life continuously. <laughs> Another one. I keep whispering to myself. I don't know why. I know. I hear you. What is everyone up to this weekend? Oh, playing with sticks, Lorna. <laughs> sticks and stones. Oh, she says, there's the rain. Just made it. Oh, that is not going to work. Okay, so. Another one under here. Over mm. here. Over here. Mm, if I like that. No, I don't like it. Don't like it. All right, I gotta set that aside to dry. I wanna go with plan B. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like mine or not either. We'll see. Same. <laughs> I'm, I'm just making a stick collage right now. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> uh, Hi, Pikachu. If you want to ride the bus, then come on. <laughs> if you want to ride the bus, then come on. Are they excited, Amanda? Pikachu, yeah. We're going to leave on they, um, Three. they wanted to start today. I can tell you, I, if I had children in this day and age, that's what I would be doing right now. Yeah, I think that's, I'm getting that's probably the best. Race. A little cray cray out there. Well, we had, um, there was, our city is very conservative. Um, and it's very tiny. But we had um, some, a teacher at the high school who had passed out some questions to the high schoolers. And like the questions that were on there, it was like a list of 200 things that apparently he had told them that he and his wife had used as like conversation starters or whatnot. Yeah. But like most of the questions were sexual in nature. Oh my. Yeah. To 15 year olds. And I'm like, Oh um, my goodness. No bro. Like my 15 year old doesn't need to know about that. Like, Well, when they're teaching that in grade school, I mean, just listening to my third graders on the bus, I have to stop him every day. It's like, that's enough. Like yeah. you're going into third grade. Right. That shouldn't even be a topic of conversation. No, nope. it shouldn't. That's a private, like, if you have questions about that, you ask your parents. You don't talk to your friends about it. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm thinking in my that. opinion, anyway. I remember when they were teaching up in fifth grade and the school I went to at the time was a small grade school, but it was overpacked and it had like the divider things for the rooms that oh, yeah. open and close. My mom came into the school and the whole entire school got to listen to her. I was so embarrassed. That's funny. She was not <laughs> happy at all. I mean, she's at home raising three girls and they're teaching us about that in fifth grade. Like, yeah. yeah, I mean, I do remember having like sex ed class in fifth mm -hmm. grade. 
which I didn't think was terrible. Not when I went through it. it I mean, but it's not like we were talking about it, like, or well, when they doing it. Oh, or, remember, I said, I remember they show. Time. You know, we get pictures of both female and male parts, and you know, I'm a fifth grader. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I don't want to see this. Yes, about how to stay safe. I agree, Lorna. They're teaching the right stuff. Like how to drive correctly and how to not be on that cell phone and how there's more to life than technology and, you know. <laughs> There that is. doesn't revolve around how many likes you get on right? Facebook. Right. I think they should have some of these kids watch the ID channel. They'll they'll, grow, they'll learn real quick. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely made me super aware. It started giving me anxiety. I had to stop watching for a while because my anxiety is so bad because of it. <laughs> Yeah, we we have um we have sex ed books at our house um that I started with Emily when she was in middle school but I mean it wasn't even a thing like like she was like what like <laughs> I think it should be I'm like, like you. a shock to the system when people talk to you about sex like it shouldn't be like a normal I don't know it, like I already know all that mom no, she wasn't like that at all. She was like, what do you mean? Like, what is that? Because like, <laughs> they weren't talking about it, you know? It wasn't a thing that they, the kids were talking about with each other or doing where it she was now. It's grade school kids talking and doing it now. Yeah. Which is just sad. <laughs> Big Mama says, oh, my grands are, all my grands always have me up in their business. If the world is able to share their view, then Big Mama can too. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> True story. Everybody has a right to their opinion. Doesn't mean they're right. That's right. Or doesn't mean it's. I wouldn't say it doesn't mean it's right because everybody's opinion is their own opinion, but it doesn't mean it's factual based on facts or based on good things for everybody. You know, what's good for one kid isn't good for all the kids. Exactly. You know, some kids mature faster. Some kids are exposed to things faster. But that doesn't mean everybody should... It should be based on the parents, basically, I think. I mean, as long as they're good, caring parents. Right. That aren't causing harm. Now they're getting ready to, like, um, one of our junior highs they're closing, or one of our grade schools they're closing, and they're making it a junior high, and they're, they are getting, in the next four years, going to be trans transitioning sixth graders to junior high and after the junior high kids I deal with the 12 and 13 year olds I don't think that sixth graders should be with with them I just, well, they're going to be with the high schoolers so what do you with mean? the middle schoolers like right now our grade school is first through sixth grade and I'm oh, yeah. sorry we were six sixth grade when when I was in sixth grade we went to middle school we didn't yeah, know we had a middle elementary school. kids Yep. I don't I just think that's way too young. No, our middle school was seven, eight, and nine when I was in school. Yeah, that's yeah. how it should be. It used ours to be was, yeah, ours seven, was six, eight. seven, eight. Yeah, yeah, six, seven, eight. I think it should be seventh, eighth, and ninth is junior high because just like I don't think freshmen belong with tenth, eleventh, and twelfth. You know, it just they just learn too many things they shouldn't, I think. Yeah. That's just I, didn't, I mean I didn't have any I problem, but I was not I had ninth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, and twelfth, and yeah. sixth, seventh, and eighth, and I thought that was fine for me. I mean, I didn't see anything wrong with that, but and I don't either now. But Emily, when she was in Hawaii, she was uh, in a school that was 
um, you know, all the way through sixth grade. I right. thought it was weird, but whatever. Like, like me, you know, again, we're on the difference of opinions. I agree. Like there are some of my sixth graders that I would say would probably do well, but probably learn all things they shouldn't. But then there are some sixth graders that are nowhere near ready for any of that. You yeah. Know? Yeah, it's all depending on putting on the kids, I think. But the, the big one. Okay. Wait, no, it's not my buddy. Anyways, how's your project coming, Laurel? Oh, look. I, I made a little I made a little I don't know what. Uh, <laughs> I made a little a thing. I thought something something. So, so hold the butterfly or something, and then when it comes down here, more of it's gonna stick out this way than this way. That's cool. So these go this way, and these are going to go this way. And I thought it would sit nice on a book cover or something, you know. Yeah. Because the bottom piece is really flat, so. Yeah, I definitely should have gotten the hot gun out. Yeah, yeah I'm definitely ready. helping. And then I'll put some moss and stuff in there to cover that up with the glue, because there's no way to hide the glue. Weaving, yep. I'm, I'm like weaving, trying to weave wood, Lorna. <laughs> <laughs> She's a bad Donna. Weaver. She's a wood weaver. Hi, Donna. Hi, Donna. Hello, Donna. All right. So, um, I think I need another one here. Thin one. Thin one. And a fresh one that's kind of bendy. So I went and picked ones today because I knew they'd be softer and easier to manipulate. Yeah. When the, what, the trees, the, the trees, sticks? Yeah. Yeah. When they're soft. Like yeah. these are, look at, see how bendy this is? Yeah. That's like this one. This one, I think it's just old. I think maybe it comes off a different tree than these other bigger ones that I have, but I like it because I can bend it. I'm making a huge mess, that's for sure. Get this under there. Get under there. Come on, get under there. Come on now. Did we lose? Hey, don't everybody talk at one time. This is funny. It just got quiet all of a sudden. Well, I'm I mean, muting, so it's not so noisy. Actually, the noise is helping, Amanda, because now it's like too silent. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um. I am just, I'm going to, I need another hand for the whole gluing thing here. Oh, come on now. I do too. I know I have no idea what I've done with my hot glue gun. I just used it the other day and I don't know what I did. Oh, so I'm going to look for that real quick. I think I need to go down this way. Whoops. Oh my gosh. This is not cooperating. Let's try it from this direction. Oh, can't hang on enough. Oh, thanks, Donna. Yeah, I'm that's I think that's the only thing that keeps me sane. Got it. Ouch. Hot. <coughs> Excuse me. My asthma has been on like super high alert <laughs> this month. It's just been 
terrible. My nose won't quit running. Well, this, you know, a hundred, it was 110 the other day. And then, you know, then 86, then the humidity was 86%. I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> I could barely breathe. Yeah. And if you hear someone yelling, that's my daughter in there. They're arguing over a golf game. <laughs> like, or my children. You know, games are supposed to be for enjoyment, not stress. <laughs> Takes them all so personal. That's true sportsmanship. Yep. Good to be competitive. She's so loud and so vocal about it. Hi, Joyce. Hello, Joyce. Hmm. No, I know they can't see a thing I'm doing because I'm in my the dead zone. What could I? What? Have? I'm in the dead zone. They can't see me on screen because I've got it like up close to my face. Oh, I know. I do that too when I <laughs> when I have to. see. I know. Mine is here. I'll see. I have no idea what I've done with it. Did, did, did we skip projects and go back to the other one, Deb? What are you doing? What am I doing? Yeah. I've got one drying and so oh, okay. another one. Yeah, we dumped out. It's right here, but I needed for it to, to dry, half of it to dry for a moment. It's multitasking. I am. I don't know. That. You said you don't like it? Uh, no. I'm out there getting trees, and I'm like, I don't think this is enough. I don't think, I think I got enough for everybody here. Yeah. Like, I don't think this is enough. Yeah, I had a whole bucket of sticks. I still have a whole bucket of sticks next to me. Wish I could craft along. All my stuff is in a truck heading to North Carolina. Oh, what are you going there for? I'm going to say moving. I'm going to guess if all of her stuff. Yeah. One. That one shook the house. Thunderstorms are mm -hmm. at night. Keep waking me. Oh, the ones we had that one night. I didn't sleep all night long. Donna says, Larson, will that be a wall hanging when you are done? Yeah, I think so. Going to try to make it such. I don't know if it's gonna stay. I'm gonna I'm gonna put some this little frame on it and then I think I'm gonna do some kind of floral elements in the middle. And then maybe a butterfly or something, some kind of metal or wood. I don't know you, Larson. It is looking awesome. <laughs> What? <laughs> Lorna, Lorna doesn't know me. <laughs> and Michelle, I think yours is looking cool. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, are you military? I'm guessing, Joyce. Moving to California. San Diego to Jacksonville. Either Marines or you're a corpsman or an RP. Navy, or maybe. Or something in aviation. Yeah. Uh, Donna wants to know, Michelle, what will your design be when completed? Um, I don't think any of us know. Yeah, <laughs> it's, know. Lorna, it's inspired to craft. It's Amanda. Amanda, inspired to craft. <laughs> oh, because Donna was calling you Larson. Yeah. Oh, well, that's what my name says on the screen. Too. Oh, right. 
It's Amanda. It's me, Amanda. It's Amanda. <laughs> She's probably like, who is this person oh, calling me by my first name? <laughs> Poor Lorna, you're messing with her head. Sorry, <laughs> Lorna. It's just with, me. Don't mess with Lorna's head. Oh, sons in the Marines. Oh, it's okay, Donna. That's what just what these guys call me. Larson. <laughs> Or what is it? Three A's. Three A's. I, call her, I call her three A's. Yeah. Yes. Two L, one L, two L, three L's, three A's, and three two B's, B's and a D. Two B's and a D. Two B's and a D. Oh, and a D. And a D. Or we could call her two K's. Or that's nice, Donna. I I uh I live with my sister. That's like the best. I'm telling you. God put me in the right place. Don't break, don't break Lorna's little brain. <laughs> Sorry, Lorna. <laughs> we won't break your brain anymore. No brain breaking. <laughs> no brain breaking. Okay. Sorry, you can't see what I'm trying to tie this thing together. It's not working. I'm, I'm holding glue right now. Just I gotta hold the camera. I got you can't see it, but I have a whole bunch of stuff clipped and gluing. <laughs> there isn't a jail big enough for you to live with your sister. Nope. Same. Well, I you. have two sisters and I mean I love them both dearly, but me and my younger sister are like two peas in a pod. Me and my older sister, however, we get along great, but living with each other is, yeah, no, that we're way Nothing. opposite. Right. I do not have any sisters. I, I have wondered, one sister. I always wondered what it would be like to live with a sister. I've got one sister. I don't know. I can tell you the one I live with is not great. A mile away. I grew up with a sister. I grew up with two older brothers. Yeah, but. Did you buy me something? Did you buy me something for homeschool? That's a um, wooden box, and it has all those activity stuff in it. I mean, all those activity things in it. Like on the YouTube channel? Yeah. No, I didn't. That's <laughs> that's what we have to plan for. Remember? Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna buy those things. Lorna, Lorna says, I have two sisters and two brothers. You can have three of them. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Oh, there's Hello. Olivia. Hi, Olivia. How are you? Great. That's great. awesome. I'm great, too. That's what I always say. I'm great. I'm, I'm in homeschool. That's awesome. And I just finished playing with the Play-Doh. We're going to have, um, I'm going to um, have those eggy cat. Thingy. She made eggy casseroles. Oh, okay. They're so good. I want some. Oh, that's for lunch. homeschool lunch, is what she's saying. It's for oh. dinner. I made egg casserole this morning, and that's what she wants for well, homeschool dinner. Your favorite. Oh, Lorna said hi, Peach. No, love, it doesn't. No, baby, it doesn't. Sorry. Next time. I should probably tape these to the back, I'm guessing. What are you doing, Michelle? Huh? I like that. Over there. Very she... pretty. Gluing sticks. Yeah, I, cool. like... I love that. I think it looks very cool. Thank you. See, I can't make anything to hang on walls because I have no walls left, so I always have to think of things for 
journal. Oh, this could go on the front of a journal. It's only five by yes, seven. Yes, it could. Yes, it could. Yeah, that's beautiful. Lorna says it looks awesome. Hi, Pam. I wonder if I'm going to be able to get this one to stick those on straight or flat. So we need this one under and over. So I need it about that long. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens. All right, this one goes over and under. All right, that needs to still sit in blue. Over. Like that. Like that. Here I go whispering again. I don't know why I whisper <laughs> now when I talk to myself. I start whispering like it's a secret. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Why am I whispering? <laughs> All right. Debbie K, you are being very quiet. I'm concentrating. That is unlike oh. me. Pam, Not Olivia is at my house. Quiet. Amanda. Sorry, Larson. Did you know I have a homeschool box? Oh, see, like I don't it? like the way that glue is showing. Maybe in a little bit, okay? Mm. What's wrong, Michelle? I don't like the way you can see that glue. So now start putting some moss or cheesecloth or something just tucked in there in those spots. Why don't you like the glue? Is it um, is it glossy? I, yeah, I could, I could kind of see the glue like right there. See it right there? I don't like that. Is it what kind is of it glue? hot glue? It's hot, hot glue. glue. Yeah, just heat it up with your heat Mom, tool. You and scrape, use a scraper or something to scrape it off a little bit right there. Olivia would like you to see her new homeschool box. Okay. Okay. We would like to see it. Hmm. Here it is. I didn't think about Aww, that. It's a oh, unicorn. It's a I love unicorns, Olivia. That's her pencil sharpener, and then she has all of her markers and stuff in here. Nice. And she has cards for math. It's pretty. Here you go. Ready to go. Yep. Well, I should have used matte gel medium. We'll be getting. Sorry, she said we'll be getting her backpack soon. All right, so I've got this tied together. So there's that. that. Very cool. So I like far. it. I'm going to saw this off or something. I don't know. <sighs> yeah, I don't like that. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, uh, Pam, she's my six-year-old. I have a, a little five-year-old and a little six-year-old, and Olivia is the six-year-old. She was dead set on going to school um, until I brought home some Play-Doh for homeschool, and now she's all in. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, play -Doh, the magic maker. Not a in a play -Doh. Play -Doh. Do you think that will pull off if I pull it off? If you heat it up, it will. Mm -hmm. Well, that one came right up. Yeah, I don't like the way that looks. God, this hot glue is not drying, which is so weird. Joanne says, "Look, love what you may you've done, Michelle." Thank you. I just don't like looking under there and seeing that shiny glue. Yeah, glue you could spray it with matte medium, so like a medium matte Can spray, you, um, or dab a little paint in there, to, uh, like a rust. Use your rust paste effect. Rust effect paste. I can't tell. Oh. And uh -huh. yeah, it, you know. Make it look rusty. I'd have to use a T90 paintbrush, though, not to get it on the fabric. But I guess I could try that. But some fabric, getting it on the fabric might look good, too. You could always put some um, 
3D mat gel over it or what, whatever kind of mat gel. Mm -hmm. Just dab it on there. Is that what you said? Sorry. I was reaching for my gel. I didn't hear. Could maybe just put some of the brown rust effect face in there. All right, I gotta run the sewing machine. I'll be right back. This is that place on it. I need a rose one. I don't think I have one. I said this is on it. Dog. Maybe. Try this. Thank you, Joanne. No, that is not releasing. <laughs> what is it? Oh, wait, here it comes. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Okay, that released. Okay. Stop it. Bye, Pam. Bye, Pam. Pam. Bye. I already had dinner. I was smart. I didn't want to eat dinner at 8 o'clock, so I'm like, I'm going to eat dinner. Yeah, I had something going on, too. Nope, I didn't. Oh, me neither. I but I made dinner. Dinner. Yeah. Leftovers. <laughs> Leftovers. Leftovers. I made chicken pot pie yesterday, so that's what we're. Mm. That's what I nice. I had mm. shake baked chicken and broccoli. Yum. Not With sure. applesauce. I'm going to start talking nonsense just to break up the quiet. <laughs> start whispering, Laurel. Right? <laughs> Lauren said she hasn't had shake and bake since she had, was a kid. Oh, my God. I love shake and bake. I remember those commercials. It's shake and bake, and I helped. I helped. Yep. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. I think it almost worked. It almost worked. Let me see if we're right there. Okay. I and we thought we were so special when you would get a TV dinner and we could, oh my gosh, TV dinners. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was television. special when I could have a pop. Not, and it's funny because I don't drink pop. Um, oh, yeah. As a kid, it was like a special treat to like 4th of July when we had our 
um, block parties and stuff to be able to drink a pop. I've not had a Dr. Pepper in almost eight months. Not even diet Dr. Pepper? Nope. What? Nasty. I'm drinking one right now. No, diet Dr. Pepper is the only one that tastes like actual drink. Yeah, I used to drink, drink that. That's what I, I don't like Dr. Pepper at all. Right, Lorna? The wonderful world is Disney. That's right. And use the TV trays. Yeah, Dr. Pepper, Diet Dr. Pepper is the only one that tastes halfway decent, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. It would taste halfway decent in a diet drink. I can't drink diet anything. No diet yeah. drinks. None. None. <laughs> that stuff is gross. It is. I, I'm right there with you. Yeah. Well... I used to drink several a day, which is why I had to go to a diet. But then I just gave them up. I'm going to have to try this a little bit. <coughs> I don't have enough clips to clip all these sticks <laughs> you know that's kind of what i was running up against too i was like i think i finally got it though mm. i think i think i did okay let me get it started at this one i should be able to Where'd this come from? This break off or something? They hope not. I got the mica tiles uh, just from Amazon, Lorna. Um, I just I just punched in mica tiles. It came up. They weren't ridiculously priced, so I just clicked to add to cart. <laughs> what is my, mica tiles? Mica tiles. Oh, so that would be something that you add to your. Oh, you know what it is, Michelle. What is it? Tell me. Remember the mica tiles from the course that we took? Remember the Nellie Wortman class? She had mica yeah. tiles in her journal. Oh, yes, those. Yes. Yeah. Our US, US Art yes. Quest is the brand. And it's just mica tiles. I've always referred to them as mica flakes, but those are big. Okay, I got you. Really, Joanne? Oh, because of how I layered everything? Yeah, I've changed the tag. I'm still working on it. It's not done yet. <laughs> not the back, just the butterfly. Yeah, I like doing that kind of... I like doing it with paper, too. I don't know why. There's just something... I'm just drawn to this kind of design, I think. All right. So then something can go in the middle here or on there, but now we're going to put in, I have some bark and some moss. And then I'll try and see if I can finish this butterfly. We'll see if it's going to work. It may work, it may not. Cut that. Oh, I need something bigger. Make the wood butterfly and put them on here if I can get the rest of it to work. Anybody going to go watch that movie where the crawl dads sing? My sister said she read the book. Um, I've not heard of it. Yet, but I have recording right now, the flowers in the attic origin one. Ooh. That's, that's, uh, uh, was on tonight at seven. Yeah. I um, read the book also. It was really yeah, good. I did too. Some parts that I didn't really like, but it was good. comes out like next week i think in theaters me me and cam went to see um jurassic park oh yeah yeah you know we really wanted to go that day and i you know i should have just passed because the only seats that were available were the front row of this little theater i came out of there with such bad vertigo and i can't tell you what i saw in the movie and what i didn't and why a theater would even put seats where they put seats is beyond me because nobody can mm -hmm. see 
at that angle. You can't look at something that big at that angle. Well, that's where we sat up in the front also, but not due to there not being seats. That's where they chose to sit. I'm like, y'all are nuts. I don't want to sit here. <laughs> so now we got to go see it again because I don't know what I saw. <laughs> but my neck was so bad when we left there. It was terrible. My vertigo was terrible. I was like, okay, never doing that again. That one's done. That one's done. Two done. Three. Three done. Yay. Um, you guys want to pop around and kind of see, show where you are, what you're doing? Sure. All right. Okay, Amanda, go. So, so it's big. What you got? <laughs> Okay, so I did my collage on the background, and it's got a bunch of different textures, like Braille and the uh, nice. texture paste and little cutouts and stuff. And then I'm putting these flowers in there to make a little... That's cool. That yeah. looks cool. Oh, wow, Amanda. I, love I like dimensional stuff like that. And then I think... I might put some kind of like, I don't know, some kind of like branch maybe, and then put a butterfly on the branch. Cool. Oh, nice. oh yeah. But obviously yeah. color, color butterfly or something. I don't know. I don't know yet. So I'm just going to continue with this flower thing. I was thinking about maybe gessoing over top of some of this stuff to kind of push it back because I'm not sure about. I don't know. All of this gets lost in there. So, so I don't know. We shall see. But I took the, um, I stuck the, tied the sticks together with the string. Nice. So oh, I how, like that. That's oh, how yeah. it gives it a neat, a cool rustic look. Yeah. Very nice. Thank you, Joanne. All right, Michelle, you want to show us what you got going on so far? Oh, okay. <laughs> Look at her clips. <laughs> so far, you're not done. We know. Oh, geez. Ooh. I love your clips. Those are funny. Right? So, um, I was able to get that one off, and I got it down with the Mac Gel Medium. This one I was able to get off and glue down. This one, there's not an issue because I can't see the glue anywhere with it. That's cool. Um when I started to pull this one off, it looked like it wanted to pull the paint over here that I've got down. So I think I may just end up like tucking some moss up under yeah, there. I moss. Yeah. And um, yeah, I think that's what I'll do to remedy that. But oh, that's pretty. Thank you. Yeah, I love that. I'm happy with it so far. Yeah. Are you going to put it on a journal cover? Make a journal well, cover out of it. That that will be my plan, yeah. That'll be cool. Yeah, so that could be a journal cover in the making, and I've not even started the inside yet, which is very unusual for I, me. <laughs> I always make my covers first. I never do. I think the cover sets the tone for what you do on mm -hmm. the inside, but that's just the way my brain works. Um, well, I'm totally backwards. Where that goes, how that you know, goes. You know, it's funny. For every 10 people you talk to, five will do it yes. one, five will do another. Well, that's true. Every, yeah. It's yeah. just to me, each buddy, everybody's brain works differently. Yeah. Thank you, Lorna. All right, Laurel, show us what you got going on. That's cool. Yeah, I have some cool bark. Ooh. Um, yeah, I have a whole bag of bark. Kentucky bark. Kentucky bark. Yeah, Kentucky bark. So 
this piece is not going to be this long. I'm going to cut it probably to here. But Ooh. I have part of the design going that way and then part of oh, the my. design going that way. So I can either put a focal thing here in the middle or but even this butterfly oh. the one I'm not using could go on here. You know, nice. last mm -hmm. night. So no, it'll it'll work out when I'm done. But that'll be cool. That would look good on the cover of a journal too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because this piece is nice and flat. Yeah. Yeah, that, I love that. That's beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Cool. All right, Deb, what about yours? So I've got two journals going on right now that I'm desperately trying to get done. And so I decided tonight I would focus my attention on making things for those journals. Um, so the first thing is this is a belly band that I just did. So this is um, Raffia wrapped here in the middle and that's a mica tile behind it. These are just some leftover pieces of chipboard from when I did the cover of the journal. Mm -hmm. uh, this journal. And um, so yeah. So I just took two halves, two top halves of, of two different tags and um, did that. And then now this is just a little belly band where I can tuck some things into like that. Nice. Thank you, Joanne. Then I did, let's see, um, for a different journal, not the B journal, um, this will be probably a pocket It'll probably close this way and I'll have it open this way. And this is just a stick on the top with there's um, stick. There's my stick. There's a stick. I use one stick. I mostly focused my attention on the, and I'll show you some of the other stuff that I made earlier this week. I focused my attention mostly on the rock wrapping techniques and some of the wraps and things from that image. So I'll show you. But anyway, I just did some macrame on it. Just some fun little knotted it down at the bottom, stuck it on. And this journal is a masculine woodland journal. So, oh, yeah. so I think this will work nicely in there. Then I made this. This is a great big washer, and this is not dry yet. Um, oh. it's part of the stone wrapping kind of, it, it, it's black. You can't see it, but it, it wraps together in the center of the big washer. Nice. Oh, I like that. Um, and that is also, that's going to go in this, these two pieces are going to go in the same journal. Um, and then earlier in the week, also, I made this one. So these two kind of go together. This is just a smaller washer, but I kind of did it very similarly. Oh, that's nice. And so oh, two. that's like a cord that you used, like a sh shoestring. This is a thicker cord. This mm -hmm. is more of a string. So, okay. And then let's see. Earlier in the week, I did another one that I will show you that took forever. Um, uh, <laughs> that's why I did another one. It just took me a really long time to figure out how to do it, but I was really happy with the way it turned out. So let me pull wow. this. Wow, yeah, that's pretty. Here, let me pull this out. And it's oh, nice. Oh, that looks cool. So this was twine that I wound in a circle flat and then let that dry really well. And then this is raffia that is we and end up, you know, over under weaving here in the inside of the circle piece. And then it comes out, and then that's a pocket. My light is weird. There you go. Um, and then I took that same sort of weaving idea into the onto the tag. Yeah, oh, that's that nice. So oh, that took some patience, girl. <laughs> this took this once I figured it out, I was okay. But it took a really long time to figure out how to do this. I couldn't, the first part was trying to figure out how to wrap this in a coil flat. Mm 
and it's mm -hmm. and it keep a circle in the inside, you know, without it being wonky. Yeah. Um, so so that was a trick. And then this is just a little. Uh, it's kind of like a little label with a B on it. It's kind of hard to see, but it's got clear rock candy on top of it. Nice. So, um. Those are all, yeah, those are, like I said, those are pieces that I played with earlier in the week that kind of went along. So these are all, the idea here is that I'm creating sort of a set for two different journals. Yeah. That's nice, Debbie. Mm hmm Yeah. Thanks. Nice job. I like doing everything that's different. I like things that are different, that aren't, you know. Right. Out of the norm. That takes me forever. That's what I like. Everything that takes me forever. <laughs> so much time in the world. Well, I may do another one of the one. I think what I finally ended up doing was I, I used something round and I, I wrapped it around a round piece, glued it, wrapped, wrapped it down once, glued it, then walked away and let it dry. Yeah. Then I slipped it off and then I was able to wind around the rest of it and keep the circle. Maybe, maybe I'll start another one because I do feel like I need another one of those in the journal somewhere. Yeah, I think that's one of the really cool things about these prompts is you can take these prompts yeah. and you can incorporate them into other projects you're working on or turn them into, you know, like journal covers like 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 Michelle's or, you know, if you're already working on something, um, it's a cool way. Like I would have never thought to do this. <coughs> think in the journal yeah without right right that's, really nice. that's a nice those are nice pieces i like that and now that's a metal washer on there right yeah both of them are rusted metal washers oh speaking of which i've got some cooking right now i need to probably cook some more Got some washers, some of those um, roofing nails, the flat roofing nails, and some safety pins, baby safety pins. You guys want to see some? You want to see some cool rust? I'll show you some cool rust. Uh, I'm telling you, the stuff I find at work, I don't think I ever walk looking up. I'm always <laughs> walking, looking down because I find the coolest stuff at work. Like I have a whole bunch in my backpack again, which I have to bring up. But look at this. This is like just rust, rust. That the metal has just, but just I have oh just rust. Of rust, like everywhere. Hi, Bobby. How are you? I have so much. Okay. Look at these washers. I mean, they've been sitting forever. Oh, oh nice. Light sockets, like all just funky pieces of stuff I find in the parking lot. But <laughs> this piece is super heavy, but look at that. Just all great for know. rusting like fabric and stuff. Um, but this stuff is cool. Awesome. I'm going to go start walking parking lots. I'm telling you, look at that. I've look got that three cool more thing. shoes that I use to get my rusty going. Yeah, you know, I always forget the combination. I know you guys have told me a hundred times, and I always forget. Vinegar, like, peroxide, and salt. That's it. Yep. Half and half, and then just a lot of salt. I actually don't use that much salt. Or well, I mean, well, at I'm least a, a a good sprinkle, a good. I lost my glue. Oh my gosh, I'm in here. Have a good and night, Lorna. Have, have a great, great night. Weekend. Thanks for having me. Another good thing to add to your rusting mixture is steel wool. Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. I'm going to try this again. Let's see if I can do this. Can you find steel wool without soap in it? No, not yet. I haven't. I've had yeah. to like. Um, it used to be a thing. Soap. Yeah, I, think no, I, think have, I have a ton of it. Go, go to Amazon. Right. Type in steel wool. Um, 
What do you mean that has soap in it? Because I have steel wool like and mine doesn't have soap yeah, in it. Does that... Well, they used to have these things called chore boys, but then people were using them for drugs. And I don't no, know if that's why they added it. You get soap? a big package of steel wool from like. Yeah. Does that work, the steel wool scrubbies? No, 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 oh, no, no. I'm talking what? regular steel wool. That... Steel wool. Yeah. Right. Not... Yeah. See, I was just, I was talking about the, um. The things that you can buy in the dish, like the dish yeah, section. Yeah, like an no, SOS pad. SOS pad. No, no, no. They used to have those. Don't buy those. Torb I yeah. did, and they work just fine. Buy. Tractor supply. Danielle Spreaker. says tractor supply. Yeah, or paint supply. Paint, um, steel wool is used on furniture. Right. Yeah. And you've got different grades. You've got a fine, a medium, a coarse. Yeah, the SOS pads are a real fine. So I you can't just plain steel wool off Amazon? Yeah, I would not use SOS pads. Oh. Yeah, they only have soap in them now anyways, so you can't. Well, I, I got it rinsed out. It took me some scrubbing, but I got it out. Yeah. Right. I don't, would not recommend. I mean, because two or three scrubs and it's like they're about gone anyway. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, I was going to show you. It comes with a big bag. You can get a big bag of it, and it's just yeah. steel wool. Okay, well, I'll, I'll look for that. Hold on, I'll, go get mine. I'll get mine and show you. Yeah, of course, because I want to find something. I can't find it right now. When I don't need it, it'll be right there. Oh, no worries, Danielle. Home Depot and Lowe's. Right. Even like an Ace Hardware and stuff. Anywhere yeah. like that you can get it. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. A big bag of steel wool. Just like that. And and they come in, like when you pull it out. Let me see. Yeah. yeah it looks like it looks like the soap pads. Right. Yeah. It's, it's rolled it's not. up. There's right. no... It's the same thing. It just doesn't have soap in it. <laughs> right. And just be careful. I would wear gloves because, man, that... Those oh, yeah. stabs you. The little slivers? No, the slivers are terrible. These, uh, the super fine is not as uh, slivery. Yeah, I was gonna say, I that makes sense. Know. Yeah, the finer it is, the less... And you found that on Amazon, Deb? Yeah. Okay. I actually got these for a... Uh, I have a, an antique uh, sewing machine base The the... the you know, with the pedal, I forget what they're yeah. called. Yeah. Uh, that I'm redoing, and um, I got it. I bought it for that. <laughs> gotcha. To work on a piece of wood project, but I keep. I just pull. I just pull out and add a little piece of this to when I'm rusting and stuff. And it, okay. you just put it on. You can just put it in there in your yeah. rust bath or whatever, and immediately just goes. Wah. I mean, it's yeah. fun to watch. Well, thanks. Awesome. I put purple on my thing, Laurel. Did you see that? No, I did it. You put on. I can see Amanda's purple. Show us, yeah. I I know I'm debating sticking some purple moss in here just because I want some purple in it. <laughs> <laughs> Deb, can you put it on? Um, Oh, sorry. I had to go put the steel wool away. Put it on Amanda. Oh, that looks yeah. beautiful. I like yes. it. It's not all glued down yet, but it's like super dimensional. It's really cool. That's really pretty. It looks blue, but it's purple. No, I know it's purple. I see, yeah, I can see it. And then I got those little purple lavender looking thingies I down see there. That. Those are pretty too. I love all your dried flowers. You yeah. yeah, I have a whole cup full. They're just all stuffed in one cup. Coffee cup. Oh. 
Oh my goodness, there went my light bulb. Oh no. Uh oh. Bell, mommy. Mama's light. It's okay. <laughs> He's very concerned. Come on now. You can do it. Get under there. Is it stuck? Mm -hmm. Thanks, Danielle. I really need to find my glue gun so I can glue all this down. It's sturdy. I actually like that butterfly on there. I just think it fits perfect. It is. Yeah, the color can everything around. It's just like that was made for it. Yep. yep. Oh, Emily got her driver's license. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's she had a she's had her permit for a long time, but I've been refusing to let her go. <laughs> um, if you saw what I saw, I would never want any of my children to drive on a daily basis. It's yeah. just people have made up their own rules for things you can do nowadays when you're driving. Yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah. Hey, Amanda, Cam's had hers, let's see, almost five years, and she does not drive. Yeah. See, Emily's <laughs> been out every single day. Like the first Oh, yeah. Time. You need to Shh. one little thing from the store. Oh, I'll go. Oh, yep. I yeah. I remember when I started driving, boy, I was yep. gone. Yep. All right. I'll go to the store, Mom. I'll go. I'll go. Uh -huh. Well, it's nice because I don't have to take her to work now. She just goes by herself. Cam doesn't want to drive, and I don't blame her. She sees, like, when we went to Kentucky and back, she just, like, can't believe what she sees, what people do. It's just, like, yeah, I don't blame it. her because it's crazy out yeah, there. Yeah, but you got to need that independence, though. It's yeah, not that. It, 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 we live in just the city. It's so bad here that it's every day. Like, I'm in the bus. There are at least 10 major, major accidents a day. Where they're closing down the road because these kids just do not know how to drive. Because they don't drive. It's just <laughs> scary. Okay. No, because they're all speeding. Oh, yeah. That's true. I always forget her name. Uh, I want to say Hi, Vicky. 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 Oh, I was right. Good. Vicky. Oh, Vicky. Hello, Vicky. Turn How are you? Driver right here, and the guy behind me got impatient and passed me on the left to get around. What? See? That's what I'm talking about, Joyce. They just don't care anymore. <laughs> like, come on now. What is wrong with people? Okay, I think I'm good with that. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. It's beautiful. Thank you. It is. It is. It is. The only thing I see is that my two sticks to the bottom are kind of heavy. Compared to the top, put something in between the top ones, maybe. I don't know. You could put something on the bottom one, like a um, piece of metal or something. Mm -hmm. But it looks good either way. Yep. Yes, it does. I like it. Very cool. Where did my string go? My desk is a. Oh, mine too, girl. <laughs> right. 
glue strings everywhere and uh, I have all of these floral things all over the place like sticks, rock, string, glue, all the things. <laughs> when, when when I got off last night and I started playing with the tag, I, I was in this little bitty spot. I had like all this crap all yeah. around. Me. Like, what are you doing? You were doing so good. Is it where, where you craft yourself into a, uh, yeah, nothing. a corner? <laughs> No. Yeah. All right. It's That's when I clean my desk off. It's like, okay. That's when you're ready to craft again. It's like, yeah, let's go. Yeah, it's time to clean the desk, make the space bigger so we can do the exact same thing all over again. Yep. Repeat. Rinse and repeat. <laughs> Between the sticks and the moss, there's just crumbs everywhere. <laughs> crumbs, crumbs, and more crumbs. And bark. I'm actually, I, it's a little messy, but I'm doing pretty good today. I'm shocked. <laughs> oh, I was going to put a plate at the bottom and I didn't leave room for it. Michelle Diane. Darn it. <laughs> I sure was. We can put it across that bottom. Put what it across you, that bottom one. A plate? Put it across put the bottom. Book, yeah, book plate. You could, I bet you could put it on there. Pull that thing out and play with it. Yeah, because remember, I lost my brads. <laughs> Come here, you. All right. Can I get away with adding a piece of purple in here for some pop? I think so, right? Oh, sure. You can add sure. purple. Oh, with purple. Anytime, anywhere. Where are you going to add oh, purple? Oh, yeah. We're going to. And if then you want to know if your butterfly is paper or fabric. My butterfly is paper. What say that? What you what'd you say again, Amanda? Paper or fabric for your butterfly? Which one is I, it? My butterfly is paper. But it's not gonna sit Why? on there right because the stick is crooked. Oh, Vicky was asking. Yes, it's it's paper, Vicky. It's yeah, got Vicky, um rock rock candy on there on the center and then on the edges it's got the Tahoe Sunset um, Big Textures by Seth After. And then in the center, I have just a little bit of the copper, um, oh my God, metallic fl the flakes. Yeah, the metallic flakes. So yeah, but it's paper. It's just paper. I think some purple to give it a pop of color would be okay. That stick has got a hump in it. It's not straight. Stupid stick. I know, <laughs> you stupid stick. Oh, that's not going to work. Can't believe that. I didn't leave room. He's <laughs> so shout I in. Is it would it go between the two the the, the um, bottom and the second to the last stick? It would fit nicely right there. Yeah, I mean it doesn't have to be. I like the the asymmetry that that creates the asymmetrical. You know, not perfect. Or maybe off to the side. Thank um, you, Vicki. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Sorry for the loud TV. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I don't know. I gotta think about that now. Michelle, why not add on the fabric? That's what Vicky. Yeah, said. that's what I was saying. Between, what? Add it to the fabric between the here um, sticks. Yeah, anywhere. Right, that's not working. Time to pull out the big guns. I have something new to show you guys. I think I'm okay. I haven't, I haven't tried it yet, but I will be trying it and letting everybody know how it works. I'm still a little confused as to how it works. But has anybody else seen this? What is, what is it? I'm bringing it. I say, what are you showing us? I don't see. I thought you were reading chat. I was like, who's saying that? Fabric tag. <laughs> okay. Yep. Is that spray? We can yeah. Use the, the, the bottom, the middle. Yep. Spray. It's, Fabri it's Fabri tac spray. Nice. So, curious to see how it works. Yeah. Now, it's a, a permanent fabric adhesive that bonds fabrics like lace, cotton blends, denim, and more, especially when all over coverage is required. Cool. Yeah. So. That had, that would bring journal covers to a whole new level. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> Although I usually just use a matte medium anyway, just because for that reason. All right, I need something to keep us posted on your uh, testing. I will. <laughs> Okay, I think that's enough. How oh, you ladies have inspired me with what you've done with the sticks. I, oh, thanks, Joanne. And to think that none of us had any idea what we were doing. <laughs> <laughs> we don't usually, though, so had a basic idea and it actually turned out way better than I thought it would. I just knew that I wanted to uh, get some pieces done for my journals. Right. I have not spent much time on of late. And oh my God. I've been working on this bee thing and it's been tough because this, this idea I've come up with is taking a lot of brain power. <laughs> <laughs> to figure out the configuration and everything, so. So, how am I going to get this little brad to stick down on the back? Um, cut right. the base of the brad off oh, and, just say, and just glue, and just glue it, it in. Up. Don't don't try to go through anything. Just glue the, the top of the brad on. What show. glue would you use? Glossy accents. 3D matte medium. <laughs> or glossy accents. Okay. There's a ring. Or heavy body gel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a bunch of different glues. Okay. I think I've got just a little bit of, of this left. Who knew playing with moss could be so much fun? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just right. having good old time over here. <laughs> hmm, let's see. Wait a 
thing with just about anything is fun, as long as it's play and enjoying yourself. Lost, whatever. All right, here we go. Leaving, we will go. Man, I really need a bird. I don't know how many times I gotta say that. But I need a bird. <laughs> Amanda, I will go on and look. <laughs> Get that girl a bird. Get me a bird. Hmm, I think I'm going to maybe what I'm going to do. All right, come on. Be right back. So, I'm getting this ready to weave around this circle. Here we go. Oh, Joanne, well, have fun. Go grab some sticks out of your yard and right. Lay. Um, for anybody who came in late, the the prompt was sticks and stones, of course. And these are the these are sort of the inspiration images. I mean, this and this is um, showing this. And this is a bunch of this is all different sticks, which is very similar to what. Michelle's doing here. This picture's hard to see because it came out blurry, but um, sticks and stones, so, wrapping and weaving, and just playing with different ways to do fun things with sticks and stones. And I can tell you, I'm having a lot of fun. Only because it's turning out way better than I thought it was going to. <laughs> Isn't that right? Doesn't always work out that way. Boy, isn't that the truth? But that's, you know, that's part of experimenting, though, is stuff not working. True story. Hmm. All right. This is where this gets tricky. Oh, my hands are so yucky. I've got matte gel, medium, autumn, and moss. Next to them, and yeah, it's a nice little bit. <laughs> My hands are miraculously stayed clean today. I haven't made a huge, ginormous mess today. How'd you do that? I don't know. I'm shocked. I keep putting things back where they belong. It's freaking me out. That's weird. I'm like, I never do that. I just keep throwing it, winging it places. <laughs> Done. 
What do you think about this window frame here instead of that branch? Oh, I like that, but I think the branch should go in front of the window. You think so? Yeah, that I like the window, but I think a branch coming, yeah, like that, coming off of it somewhere. Even if you don't put nothing on it, it would look really cool just with really the branch. Like, yeah, I like that window. Mm hmm That's Raffia, um, Deb? Yes. She asking you a question? Oh, I love that purple moss on there. Thank you. So do I. I just think it added mm -hmm. the perfect top. Glue showing at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Okay, I've lost my scissors somewhere. Oh no. Mm. I should move some of these sticks off my desk. This moss reminds me of like a sea sponge, like a real sponge. Mm -hmm. It's kind of spongy, like a sea sponge. Spongy, spongy moss? Moth? Moss? I can't talk. I do like these. I found these cool little sticks. Oh, those are neat. Yeah, they're oh. all wavy. Mm -hmm. yeah, cool. Are those little buds on there or are those the sticks that are actually wavy? Yeah, they are little. They're the, um, these things look like little pink feather dusters. Oh, okay. when they're When they're in bloom. Mm -hmm. But that's what it came up. I wonder if I ought to, should have put some green on there. It'd be cool if you could like make the moss effect, like like uh, or the lichen effect, like lichen growing on a branch oh, in the branch. forest. Yeah, that'd be cool. I don't know what I'm doing with my there's my scissors. Is that that green stuff? What is, what is lichen? Is it that yeah, green? it's it's a green. Yes, that green um, old or whatever. It yeah, yeah. It's really pretty though. I like it. Yeah, it's super soft. Yes, that stuff. That's it. <laughs> Still put some rocks on here if I wanted to. Sticks go back in your bucket.
Man, I wish I had wisteria. So pretty. Oh my goodness, come on. You can do it. And put it in there. Everybody's so quiet. Concentration. Concentrating with moss. Concentration. Yeah. I need to speak this up. Had a little box window, be cute little box. And one more piece of green right there because you can't have that too showing right there. No, no. Uh oh, I heard a <laughs> like something. No, that was the that was the sigh. <laughs> It's like a, hmm, what am I going to do next? I don't know. Hey, where did my stick just go that I was using in the glue? Really? I didn't just stick it down anywhere. That doesn't make any sense. What? Oh, there it is. Like, don't be going anywhere, stick. find some leaves I'd stick some leaves on the last here. one is always the hardest I have some right here but they're so crunchy they'll break if this thing gets bumped so those aren't gonna work because they just disintegrate nothing else. what are they leaves leaves I need oh, yeah. some, you know I put leaves on there and they're gonna get crushed right off of there right can't do that uh. I can tell you I am so excited for summer break. Can't wait. I have been working every summer since before COVID. Like everybody else stayed home and collected money while I worked. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm glad you get to go to Florida. So am I. Have a good time. That'll be fine. Hopefully all that moss stays. Mm -hmm. down here. Something down here. Nope. What did I do? Hmm. I'm gonna miss crafting for a couple weeks because it's like Vacation, but not vacation, because Kalia is not going to let me breathe for ten seconds. Oh. <laughs> That's your granddaughter. So it's like, yeah, so it's like vacation, vacation, but not. Right. It's like and an a vacation from work, but I won't be doing any crafting, so I have to bring some tatting or something with me. I have to have something to do. Now I gotta cut, cut, gotta cut this thing. I'm gonna add some purple to him too, maybe. Let's 
Did you add some color, Michelle? I'm not looking no, at her. I'm not adding rocks. Oh, yes. Stones. Yeah, that'll be cool. Do you have any like that are sort of flat? Well, I guess they wouldn't be wouldn't have to be flat, would they? Yeah, they're kind of flat on one side. Oh, I like that one there. I wish Mr. Gal was here too at 1 L. Right? I haven't talked to her in forever. You know, she's, I saw she's in an air cast. Yeah. It sucks. Yeah, but at least that's better than a full right. cast <laughs> and surgery. True. Could have been a whole lot worse. Yep. Oh my goodness, I got it done. Oh. You all finished? Well, with the weaving. Oh, good. See? Oh, yeah, that's awesome. What is that round thing? Twine. She, yeah, she said rolled up twine. The circle is just twine? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? Get it How is it perfect? Here, hang on. Um, it's not. It looks perfect. She wrapped it around a bottle and then took it off. See? You see? Yeah. There you go. Wow. And what's the what's that stuff you're weaving? Raffia. What? Spell it. R A F F I A Raffia. Okay. Yeah. Raffia. Huh. Brown Raffia. Left over from uh, who knows what. Hmm. I have purple. <laughs> I have brown. Oh, uh, I think I might have some maroon over here, maybe. It comes in a really tight roll and you can break it up and open it all the way up and it's like a couple inches wide. No. But I have this stuff. Yeah. If you, let's up. see. Here's a piece. Let me see if I unwrap this. Oops. If I unwrap yeah, that's this. the way it comes. That's all. I have this. Oh, mine's not that wide. Mine's only about, what is that? About wow. That. Yeah, mine is like that twisted one, so you untwist it. And no, this is a lot, much light, a much thinner hmm. you know and it gives you the strips yeah that's kind of so i've never oh. seen raffia like that that's yeah. pretty cool and then it's about total it's only about a half inch wide yeah maybe a little more than a half inch but, but not much it's cool all right let's see what am i going to put this on how about a tag Maybe, okay. maybe, 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 uh, oh, maybe not. I'm looking for huh. I had a whole bunch of stuff cut and I can't find it. What is it? Uh, I had a bunch of stuff cut from my bee journal, and now I can't. So glad I'm not the only one losing stuff. No, you're not. I'm losing. So it's buried here somewhere. And it's stuff. I just don't know where it is. Ooh. Huh. What would this look like on here somewhere? No. 
Nope. Uh, All right. What's everybody else doing out there? Anybody crafting? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Amanda, when you said that, I had totally forgotten we were on live. Oh, I didn't. I've been watching to see if anybody's <laughs> been chatting or anything. It's like, I have not it sounds like, who is Amanda talking to? <laughs> Just like, oh my word. Oh, that's funny. Oh, definitely in the zone. Okay, Danielle's lurking. <laughs> that's too funny. <laughs> that's, that's, you know, there's nothing wrong with getting concentrating on what you're doing and you know i know but when you go on live you should at least <laughs> that's why i don't go live very uh, uh, by myself because there'd be dead silence People oh yeah like, why are you even live you're not entertaining me right <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry i was concentrating <laughs> All right, this might be kind of fun. Yeah, if we weren't live, we'd probably be shopping. You're probably right. <laughs> what would we be shopping for? Birds. Oh, that's yes, right. definitely birds. 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 Definitely. I know I have seen. Um, a, I'm almost positive it was a Prima mold that had. Yeah. Uh, it birds is. on a, yeah okay yeah birds on a on a branch on a branch yeah, yeah I, I think they have a couple different bird probably. ones that's probably just the one I've seen most recently yeah I just yeah have to remember for some reason that's the one I want yeah oh shoot I'm not supposed to cut that off all right when you get it you can pour me a mold mm -hmm. <laughs> I will. I got my package today from my crafting stores. Oh, oh yes. I did too. Is today Saturday? Yep, Saturday. Yeah. I did too. I couldn't wait. I was like, I got to record this. I'm like, nope, I'm opening it. Sorry. Yeah, I, did not, I didn't do a recording. I just opened it. I was just too. Yeah, I couldn't wait. No, no. I was excited. I, I love those ledger pages. That I got. Oh, the type ledger ones by Dean. Yes. Williams. They're mm -hmm. so cool. So cool. And the sayings on them are, <laughs> they're funny. Oh, yeah. Some are funny, some are serious, but they're mostly funny, and I think it's hilarious. You know, that might be a redesign mode, Amanda. Oh, yeah, it might be. Well, yeah. I think it, I think it's Finnebear. Because she used it on what it actually it might be, but I'm pretty sure it's one of hers because she used it on one of her um, one of her projects. Oh, isn't that interesting? Redesign right. Prima Marketing redesign has like a spread, like a spatula thing to use for your I guess for paper clay. You know how you like um, spread it all down in there? Show oh, me. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're on live. Never mind. <laughs> like, it's are you shopping? Shopping? Exactly. We would end up shopping, like I said. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she does use that one. Why is it not coming up? Oh, my goodness. My fingers are sticking to everything. Oh, goodness. Oh, mine were too. I've, I've got like. Look at that. Goop. <laughs> hey, Dustin. Hi, Happy Claire. late birthday. Yeah, birthday boy. Hi, Claire. 
Did Claire pop back in? Oh, that's funny, Danielle. I've done that. And Danielle talking about where she uh, started to record a video and realized she wasn't. Yeah. Started alive and talked to herself for 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that sounds like something I would do, do you know? Yeah. Same. Okay, you stay oh. on there, little window. Up to Dustin. I'm thinking it's a redesign. All right. <laughs> my son is just now boarding the plane. They were so oh my goodness. They were supposed to depart at, uh, would they say three? No. 2.58. Two, two, 2.58 their time, which is 4.58 my time, because it's a two hour difference. So four, five, six, yeah, four hours later. And it's a three hour flight. Oh, great. I'm going to be picking them up at the airport at midnight. I thought they were going to take an Uber. Of course, you are, Dustin. Well, I got the dog. I'd rather, yeah, I've got the dog. You'd rather get rid of the dog? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't say that. He's <laughs> been here to the airport to take this dog. I, I love, I love Charlie. He's been here two weeks. I'm, I'm, Amen. his time, his welcome is born. Yeah, it's time for you to, to go. It's so beautiful, though. I didn't and know. It, it is a redesign mold and it's called Aviary. Oh, yeah, that's the one, Aviary. Then they have a set with like three or four birds on one branch called that's the one I'm talking about. Maybe that's about. the one I'm talking about. That's the one I'm talking about. It's got multiple birds. Yeah. yeah, that one's called Avion. Yeah, maybe that's the one. I think that's the one that I saw. Because I almost bought it. And I don't remember now why I would have, why I was looking for it or why. The other one has like, the birds are like separate, but you've got branches and then you've got separate birds. But it's just I think it was the one with the bird on the branch. Okay. I don't remember though. I'll have to look at it just to make sure. Yeah. I, I'm going to go downstairs and get my um, that ledger paper real quick so I can cut out a little saying off of it. I'll be right back. Okay. Listen, you would think he was a crafter. I think he secretly watches without it because he's always given me these ideas and stuff. He's like, I really love the rustic colors and textures that you ladies are using. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's been listening to you. Oh, well, thank you, Justin. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. Someone wants to go out. Mama. Mine would be doing the same thing if it wasn't still raining. I finally stopped here. It did rain most of the day. Sure. I don't have anything else to do after midnight tonight. I'd love to fly, drive. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep is overloaded. <laughs> Poor Deb. 
Yeah, who needs sleep when you can drive at midnight, <laughs> right? Sleep when you're dead. That's what people used to tell me. Yeah, well, that's not fun. <laughs> I'd rather sleep while I can enjoy it. <laughs> okay. All right. Sorry, that's my that's my camera going off. Your camera. The, telling me I have an intruder in my backyard, but the intruder oh, is that camera. My dog. Sure dog. Of, or or all three, they're all three out there. It doesn't go off all the time, but when there's three of them, it kind of, kind yeah, of makes enough movement. Yeah. Pick up my two plus our visitor. Okay. All right, I did add some rocks. Okay. Camera works. All right. We are at right at 8.30. So we've been on for about two oh. and a half yeah, We've been on for a while. We've been on for a while. We've been on longer than normal. Yeah, two and a half hours. So let's. Well, Amanda went to get something, so we have to hold on a minute. Okay. She went to go get a piece of ledger paper to add to hers. But we can still go around the room and be done. Because mine's just going to, you know, the more is more and I'm not even done yet. So I'm just going to keep adding more. <laughs> more is more. More is more. More, 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 more. Well, I'm going to be doing something because, oh, wait a minute. It will be close to one o'clock. Oh, no. Take an Uber. Right? <laughs> I like that. Take an Uber. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm back. Oh. Closer to the airport than I do. Like, I, I pass, would pass their house to yeah. get to the airport. So... I'm picking them up at one and then dropping them off at home. I'm not home till at two o'clock in the morning. Oh, you guys yeah. all done? We can take an Uber. Yeah, we're just getting ready to go around the block. Okay. So I'm not done, but we're going around the block. We're going okay. around the block. All right, Michelle. I see oh. you first. You're up. Okay, this is what I ended up with. And oh my goodness, I just let a clump of glue dry on my dress my desk and it took the paint up oh my word oh, yeah <laughs> okay so I started out with um, in the background I used some texture paste with the Tim Holtz brick stencil and then I put down a piece of uh, linen here stamped it uh, with some of the leaves stamps by Tim Holtz and some archival ink and then I wrapped my sticks using different twine, you know, twine and wax thread and 
so cool. Some cowhide. Yeah, I like it. Sweet. Mm-hmm. And then glued the sticks down, added some rocks, and a little plate, metal plate there. And, oh, yeah, and I forgot. I did the black ink on there to kind of get down in the grooves to give it some depth. Nice. And there's Beautiful the piece, Michelle. Thank you. Thank you. The rocks really do add a lot. They do. Yeah, they do. Uh-huh. uh-huh. That's literally taking sticks and stones and taking it to the sticks and stones level. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. Amanda. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, hold on. Ah, my fingers are stuck. Amanda stopped. is knee deep. Knee deep yep, in the... Sorry. Okay. So, I have... Put the window on there. Wow. Nice. And then I put more floral... Let me... More floral stuff there. Ooh, that's pretty. That looks really pretty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then that's I put... Awesome. Yeah. Couple rocks down there at the front, and then I added this little thing right here. It's kind of like a I don't know. I don't really know what it's kind of be like supposed to be. That looks amazing. It yeah. does. Mm-hmm. Very. Look at that. She didn't know what she was doing. Yeah. Right. Boom. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> That's mine. Beautiful. Thank that you. is very nice, Amanda. Thank you. All right, Laurel. Okay, well, oh, I can't really. I love the purple. Yeah, yeah, I that looks awesome. needed some pops oh, of purple in there. Um, I can't really pick it up yet because uh, I'll just zoom in a little bit so you can see. My thing, uh, it doesn't zoom all the way, but it's this. The stick is going to get cut off right about here. Oh, that's the top. I can like lift it up. And the butterfly. That's bar. awesome. And I've got some bark and stuff in here in different places. And it's a butterfly sitting on a piece of bark. These aren't glued yet because I'm trying to figure out what I want to do yet. But yeah. That's wow. It. I think it looks perfect. Just I love it. Is. Yeah, that's awesome. Isn't that's it so amazing cool. how they're all just so different? Right. It's like how we all again came up with just such completely different projects which is just what i love yeah that's nice yeah, well. cool. yeah. oh thank you ladies. i'm sitting here staring at it it's so pretty i know it's so pretty i love that moss the, the effect the moss has on there yeah me too it was definitely I did, in there. Not, I did not do a piece of artwork because I'm working on these journals and I desperately need to get them done. And so I decided that I wanted to spend this time um, doing pockets and things for the two journals that I'm trying to get done. So I stayed with the theme. Um, One of the journals is a masculine woodland journal. And so this is just the masculine on top of the stick. And that'll be um, a little pocket for that journal. This one is also for that journal. I love and that wrapping I twine. That. I've got to try that. That's nice. These two are sort of companion pieces. They'll be in two separate spots in the journal. Mm-hmm. And I left this one um, rough around the on the outside edge. And again, I wish you could see it. The way no, this fabric. Way, this is a twine. Um, I don't know what I did with it. Here. It's a, a mm-hmm. oh, yeah, okay. it's a heavier, <laughs> and then, excuse me, the green on the background is the, the string. Oh, cool. I love that oh, color. I love that string. Yeah, I've really, I've really gotten my, this was in a, this was a part of a, an estate sale bundle where I had a whole, there's a bunch of this not a bunch, bunch, but anyway, I've been using it a lot. So those two are companion pieces. Um, they'll go in separate parts of the journal. This one, I don't think I'm done with yet. This will be, this is the one I was just working on where it's got the weaving on the inside. The circle is just the twine, this thinner um, hemp cord wrapped flat around each other. I started it with by wrapping it on my bottle, mm-hmm. glued it. 
got it, got that glue to dry and then slipped it off and then wound it around each other and that cut the circle. And then this goes in the B journal. So I'll probably put, um, I'm not done with it. There'll be more on here somewhere. I'll, I'll show you the other one I did. Um, but I think I, here. Here. So same thing, just slightly different. And that's a pocket. And that's just a little, it's like a stamp size. I love that. And then the, the tag it goes with it. And so this will be, you know, again, this is kind of a companion piece of so just being a separate part of the journal, but I'm going to, I'll put something, there'll be more going on here, more be-ness going on there. And then the first one I did is a belly band. Um, same, so it's in the bead journal. Um, there's just tops of two tags, this is a piece of mica, um, mica tile. And then I wrapped the raffia here. And these are just chipboard pieces left over. And so that serves as a belly band. It's kind of like that. Cute. Yeah, I love it. So those are awesome. That's what Very I do. unique. Wow, you got a lot done, Debbie. Um, well, and like I said, I, rather than trying to concentrate on one, you know, one piece, one cool piece, um, right. I really needed, I really needed to, uh, I'm getting some, getting some stuff done for these two journals. So yay. Productive That's evening. It's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Everybody's work is is absolutely stunning as usual it's always a pleasure to be with this group um, and to be in craft squad on the tour um it's an honor honestly to be in such great company so thank you thank you thank you i think uh, if we stick to our every other week schedule we would be coming to you two weeks from tonight and um who's next uh I think Michelle Scott is. I don't remember. Join us or Laurel? Is it Laurel? I don't know. We'll figure it out. No, I we'll think. Oh, I, I think it might be me, but I'm not sure. Either yeah, way, it's, whatever. It's we'll not figure it out because uh, I won't be getting home until uh, I won't. Oh, that's I don't, right. Laurel will be gone. I won't be coming home till Sunday. Happy vacation, Laurel. Yes, yes. Laurel. Have a great yeah. time. Awesome. And for those of you who have joined us this evening, thank you so much for joining us. Have a yes. wonderful evening, and we will see you soon. Yes. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.